What's up, functional bodybuilders? I wanna talk about wave loads today, and I wanna give you a couple tips on why we even use them in the first place inside Persist. A wave load is basically a trick to get your brain working at heavier loads for higher reps. How does that even work? Well, in a wave load, you might do your first set at eight reps at 100 pounds, and then increase on the next set for six reps at 120 pounds. And then on your third set for four reps, you might do 150 pounds. Now, that would be one wave. Then you would come back and repeat the same set repetitions for another wave. But since you just did that heavy set of four at 150 pounds, your brain is awake, which now means when you go back to doing a higher rep set like eight again, you can lift heavier. Your brain is prepared, your body is prepared. This was a technique that I believe was used by the Bulgarians for many, many years, decades ago, and it helped them get some of the strongest athletes in Olympic weightlifting that there ever were. The wave load can be used for sets of three, maybe sets of six, maybe nine sets in a given workout, and you can use that to trick your brain to get into heavier sets. You also might be seeing the wave load show up in Persist Perform on this training track where we're using it in an EMOM format. So the way this is gonna work is every minute on the minute, you have to perform a new set of squats. In the first minute, you might be doing six reps. On the next minute, you're doing four reps. And on the third minute, you're doing three reps. With each decrease in repetitions, up your weight. Now, when you get to your fourth minute, you're going back to six reps. So you're gonna have to decrease the weight slightly, but not as much as the first set of your EMOM. I hope this makes sense. If you've got questions, drop them in the comments below. Remember, wave loads are a tool to trick your brain into lifting heavier for each set in a working series on your exercise. Take care.